the last day of freshman year Ooh. in high school. <laughs> Anna, Casey, Morgan, Sarah. We don't communicate like a lot face to face. No. Yeah, it's mostly through technology. It's always MySpace or cell phone. Yeah, just, My average bill, I have almost 12000 Yeah, because if you call someone, it's very time-consuming. And it's easier just to send them a quick message. And when you get a message, you like you have time to respond. You don't have to respond right away. You just text them instead of like having to wait till like what, lunchtime. Okay. And you can like send them a text to multiple people at a time, so it's like simple and instead of having to call like a person at a time. Why like we probably get in trouble for talking in school is because we're used to being at home and texting that person while we're doing other stuff. Or like so talking like, to three different people. Yeah, so it's like so. if we're with them we're gonna talk to them instead of having like because if we're sitting next to them we won't text them unless like it's something we personal. have to. Yeah. Or something, something you don't want to announce to like everyone with you. Pretty much texting for us is like having your friend right next to you. Yeah. Much. yeah. You can know someone better through texting than in real life. Like, if yeah. there's someone, like, it's really awkward to talk to them in real life. Like, I can't talk to you face to face. I can talk to them fine through text, though. Like, my phone got stolen, so I didn't have a phone for, like, a week. And then it's, like, I keep, like, reaching for the pocket. It's, like, almost like I can feel the vibrations automatically on my leg. <laughs> some really yes, boring yes, yes. people in real life are excellent texters. But then some really excellent people in life are really boring texters. texters. Like, they only say, like, yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, just apply it. No. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah. 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 Just say one word. Yes. So the only time I use email is like if I'm emailing like my aunts teachers and or, or like, like a older teacher people who don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 For real, it is pretty much people. like older my grandma, generation. My grandma and my mom. Yeah. The generation people. is like email was the new thing and it's yeah. still with you. Like texting is always going to be like I think in our generation. When we talk on MySpace, it's the same thing. It's emailing, except it you can like tell if the person is like gonna reply back. Emailing, yeah, you just have to wait on. and guess. On MySpace, if there's someone you see who is online, you, you can, can like choose to email them or comment them, then they'll comment you back, and you can have like a conversation that just goes on. And yeah, when you're talking to them, you can see like their picture, and you can go onto their profile and like check out what's going on with them. But on emailing, you can't really see anything but their email address and their message. I'll be doing my homework, and probably the TV's on. I have, like, my brothers and stuff making noise and doing whatever they're doing. You're texting, you're listening to music, you're watching TV, you're listening to background noise. If they're lecturing a lot, then it kind of really sucks, because you're used to doing, like, ten things at once. Like, it's slow, like, you're not doing all those things, so it's like you're only doing, focusing on one thing. Everything's in slow motion, like, yeah. the day could be so much quicker if we were, like, emailed this stuff or, you know, texted. Just, like, so many different quicker ways we could learn this. And so I was sitting in class for, like, what is it, 70 minutes trying to learn this, and it's, like, yeah. all in slow motion, and you can't do anything else, you just have to pay attention. And that's why you get in so much trouble for talking to someone, because it's you just feel really bored just sitting there and listening. He's just telling us what to do, and we're reading and taking notes. It's so boring. That's all we do is take notes. We like take notes every day. Like I have two notebooks filled with notes, and when we do do labs, it's like that part of the class is like so much more fun and. It like seems like I remember like the labs more than taking the notes. Like I don't remember any of my notes now. I would say physically and hands on. Yeah. yeah like what people yeah. teaching you. Yeah, that I think because then like if they're teaching you to do something and then you can do it like as they're telling you. Texting because texting you can always read it over and over again. It's like right here on your hand. Our cell phones are like a right extension, like a section of our arm. We always have them on us. You can look up on Google how to anything. make. You can look up how to send your iPod. You could learn up anything in it. Yeah, like, you, yeah, because the internet has everything that if you want to learn. You can even text Google through. Yeah, you phone. can text Google to look up a word. Yeah. Like you say, <laughs> define, insert. Word. If you don't have a dictionary in your hand, hey, Google. The part I think I learned the most, we went outside, actually got set up, and demonstrated things. what happens. Overall, like, visually and like and like live example is like the best way to learn something. Yeah. Not just tell us and expect us to remember, like show examples of what we're supposed to do and have us actually do it under their like supervision so First. that when they know that we're doing it right. And not just give us like a big packet or something to do. To so, like study and because then that's not going to help because then we won't do it exactly the way that they want it. Unless the, d the directions are like legitly just 
discreet. Like pick up the fork and place it 90 degrees <laughs> to the left of the lamp. Because that's going to be our job. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing that. I think that you memorize things a lot easier when you have like a happy memory to connect to. Say like you're learning a new vocabulary word and someone makes a joke about it in class. Yeah. I think you're most likely to remember that word. Yeah. And then a word that's just like blurted out with a definition. Right before we all like want to go and do like the packet with our friends or whatever, they're like, oh, you guys have to work alone and be quiet. It's like, that's like the hardest way to work. Group work like, is Even easier. though like we'll be talking, like you really can get stuff done when you're with friends. You learn a lot more with it when you're talking yeah, with people about with people it. Who, and you and not just in your head. And the teacher, and you're like talking to someone and you're like, you do yeah. it that way. I never knew that. You know? Yeah. By yourself, you don't learn anything but what you know and what the teacher knows. Yeah. When so you're working with other people, it's like everyone's knowledge. Yeah. So I'd say like it helps to give us like independence and freedom. <laughs>